Hey guys, Tara here. Welcome back to an episode of GTA Line Racing. This time back in the Tampesta on the roller coaster kind of track that had the tunnel bridge rock thing. Let's see now. It's been a while since I did this race. Let's see if it's actually been updated or any, or if we can actually have a good race this time. Because I actually know pretty much where I'm going this time. Let's see if that's going to take a nice time there to the line. And the reason I'm on the, I chose the Tampesta again is because I felt pretty good on this track last time in terms of like the feel of it. And again, last time there, too, first one actually the value there spun itself around again. Now into P4, so uh, track knowledge there really is paying off now at this point. Quite early on in this lap, anyway. Now there's this one here. I remember this caused me issues before quite a bit. We managed to get away with it though. Push that time and through the trees while well, all going perfectly fine. Actually, where did that Wagner find that speed from? Excuse me, can I have some of that, please? And right, then coming up now into the next corner. This is probably one of the most awkward corners I think I've ever done in in racing of proper tracks, at least, anyway. Not like the horrible. Elevation changes one from a few videos ago. And it's still in the top five, so I'll say a top five I'd be pretty happy with. Well, honestly, I want, of course, I want to win the race, but uh, a top five that I'd be very happy with, or at least lead of the not Wagners as well. And again, from a bit wider than here, remember that's last on the uh, previous time of this race, there was a line sort of over there somewhere that worked out okay. Like going through here, where you can run out a little bit wide, but having a little bit of a lift for there, a little bit of a confidence lift, because I, I know I can take that full throttle, but I don't know the line on the first lap of the race like to know how I have the confidence to do it straight away. Now we're still back now into the top five, so uh, I can actually see where we retook this place, but I'm not playing kid. The final corner there is different. That pit lane like barrier bridge thing wasn't there before. And then onto lap two, four, now we get nice and there, three, five, four, we're going to be right there into the tree! And that, that wasn't solid last time. That was something this different, okay. Yeah, the tree there has caused quite a few issues. And so now as you drive down now to 8th and down to 9th now. So I think that's any chance of a top 5 is all going. There goes what? That, that's a McDonald's van now. That's in the color of the. Well, yeah, so this, so this Italian front of us. So we've got two McDonald's cars in front of us. And trying to move back past the Italian because this time is so much faster than, than the Italian. Because of which version it is. We're a little tight on the wall. We managed to get away with that though fairly okay. Go back now into 8th open now. Can we even get back now into the top 5, which I don't know how we got back into in the first place? But it's going to be some miracle now for actually to uh, get back there again now. No, still though, in eighth place, there's still two laps and a half of this race to go, so there's still plenty of time for things to happen yet. But uh, the bad things need to be happening to everyone else and not to me, although they are, of course, all self inflicted. Someone's going to flip in there, that's Peter Ars. I'm, I'm, sure, I'm pretty sure I saw a car there shoot off to the uh, the top right of the screen. No, no, no that's some place, so that, that's one of the places you need now to try and find another two. I'm running out wide, so if I'm keeping it full throttle this time, keeping it full commitment. It worked out quite a bit better than what it did the previous time. No, I know I know it's taking full throttle now after the first lap. Now we're doing a ring a bit wide into the cliff, and we've launched it now, we're gonna launch ourselves again! Okay, that actually worked out really good in terms of recall. Well, I didn't work out good in terms of us doing it, but in terms of how it could have gone, I don't think it could have gone any better than what it did, quite honestly. But we do drop back down now into ninth place once again now. And we've got two last races we've got to do the entirety, the other half now of this race. If I'm just not making stupid mistakes. I feel like I've got some pretty good pace. Well, I used enough pace to be ahead here of the uh, McDonald's Itali and the McDonald's Wagner, if that's actually from us again, which I've got a feeling probably is at this point. I think I don't really know. I'm going to try to find a way on this line again of the Italian once we do get a little bit of silent now going now for the cow is now into the tree and the tree spun us around the tree and I swear I went under that the trees are attacking me uh, the, the Daniel Bryans are now out in force now or the the, uh, the trees are after me now but yeah, yes I know that this in game is a uh, fossil fuel powered car but the trees don't need to take it so literally to take me out of the race I mean take everyone else out there in the exact same thing as me that Wagner that hasn't got any electric engine take that out as well and if it was the one with the with the uh, stupidly big wing, I'm pretty sure the one they, they into the How did they miss that? They went through that rock, surely. They were so limited, like a pixel or two away, only from a from disaster there. And we're down. And we're in P10. Oh, I made that nice place now to get a nice run there. Finally, managed to actually make an overtake in this race. Just me, that at least we can actually see we actually made the overtake. And there's a little bit of slide there, so we're going to lose a little bit of momentum, but we should be fairly okay though. If we can get around this close energy, there's someone there going very slow, so I think they may have had a few issues there over the cliff phase like we did on the previous lap. Now, as we go now into P1 again, just like corner cutting our way over there. Well, corner cutting as much as you can, which you can't really do as much as you used to be able to do with the uh, with that yellow thing being there. And now, much more cautious line there through turn one, avoiding the first of the Daniel Bryans. 
Now as you come now into the awkward corner here, for which you need to get really sorry because if you run out wide you just drift into the barrier. And now then, once again, we know in the past the McDonald's Italian now for the third time, or maybe even fourth, it's died in front of us on the actual grid as well, so four times now, I'm pretty sure they've taken that card now in this race. And we get past the second of the Daniel Bryan there as well, so I think we all we should be good now to the finish, or the only other that has really, well, the, we've got the uh, the rock tunnel cliff thing, and then we've also got the actual cliff on the final corner as well, so let's see if we can just get them safely, then... I'm not really seeing any other places to have on this lap, although 7th place I think may be the best that we can get now at this point. Or be unless someone now makes a mega mistake and we get under the, the rock face there, that's all perfectly fine. Now the lead is already just finished now. All things considered, I'm not really that far behind, considering how far as I, how terrible my race has been. I thought I'd been way further behind here than what I actually am. Running a little bit wider, avoiding the wall so pretty much pushing it to uh, the absolute limit there and get to more of what you can get away with at least anyway. Now around the final corner now, we avoid the cliff face and now just got one little kick left to go now, just going to corner cut that completely once again, straight line it, go for the curb boost. Now coming to the finish line, it's going to be a rather disappointing P7 because I had the pace for more, but the consistency just wasn't there to go with it in that race. Well now then, on to the second race now, in the allergies, the, uh, my uh, orange allergy as it is now, Hope for something better there. There's another LG in this race, there's a bright orange as well. So that's something in the middle of the road, in the middle of the the grid as well, so hopefully that doesn't really have an omen for where I finish in the middle of the result, because I want to get at least a podium from this race, maybe even the victory. Let's see how this race actually unfolds for us. Although well, there's an Italian GT here just bouncing its way down the road. But that's why that's you know there's an Italian in the race when you get overtaken by a kangaroo. And uh, this part of the track doesn't look very energy friendly because it's all just been straight so far. Now, coming now into the corner, they're getting a little bit slow there. Actually, there's a help in there. Okay, I missed that completely by about 5 billion postcodes. I'm pretty sure I went to China before I actually uh, break for that happen. And then actually, okay, here's a line we can go for. There's not actually the Italian way for it, but if the other two cars want to cost themselves time, slow themselves down, I'm all for that. You do more of that. You slow yourself down even more. I'll take all your free position now. Actually, now, now into P3, into P2. Actually, it's been a great run here for the edge of this part of the track. It's very energy friendly. And now we're in second place. Here comes Italy, which I suppose, honestly, is still pointing in the right direction at this point. They're going to start now with this copy of Now, actually, we're into the lead of the race. We're into the lead. That's this. This part has gone much better so far. A little bit inside there. allows that comment to retake the lead of the race. They're around this next left-hander. Again, nice hand there. Make a little bit of a tap on the wall, but nothing that's going to be detrimental to the outcome of this race. There, the energy is made of paper, which is a problem. And then the Italian GTO, that is also just a problem. Just in general, the Italian GTO is just a problem here. Let's, let's be honest, really. And it bounces its way now into the leader race. It makes a mistake, though. Or oh, that could have been like, I'm, I don't really know. Obviously, with how much it bounces, it just looks like it's lagging all over the place anyway. GTO here to the corner there. That's, that's a lot tighter than how it looks. You should remember that now for the next lap. Otherwise, we're just going to end smashing into the wall. And the LG, like I said, is made of paper. So... Just a little impact like that. Well, they killed momentum to start with, and that allows the, uh, that yellow... That's, uh, apparently that's a yellow comet now. I, I clearly don't know what colours are anymore. I'm not colour blind, I swear. That's the, uh, it's a white one, definitely not yellow. But either way, we get back up now into third place. So it's like, it's going to be a podium fight. Maybe for the victory, because I'm pretty sure my pace is pretty good. We are now catching back up now. Kill this car in second place. I don't know what car that is. I think that's the comet at this point. Because we missed that next corner there completely. And um, that's quite a good. A little bit of a bump now. He's smashing to the wall now. Goes, what was that? What did I hit then? They ramped under me. Yeah, I, 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 I'm sure if you saw that, if you saw the footage down, how that crash went. I've believe me, I've crashed many a time in GTA. Pretty much every single race that I show, and that crash there, I wouldn't have flipped like that. And it wasn't the tree that time. I, I'm pretty sure that that comet ramped under me and flipped me from well going underneath my car, even though it's a non-contact race. If that's actually what happened, I wouldn't really be surprised. It's it's Rockstar on GTA. And we're going to now into the hairpin. Get a little bit of a slider into the wall. Okay, that's that's one way to take a hairpin. It was probably quicker than how I did it last lap as well. I have no idea what happened there, though. It's been such a long time since I've done that, though. Just, just drop it, drop the rail under braking. I can't even remember the last time I did that. I think it may have been back at the very, very start of the GTA racing videos. Like, the actual, when I started doing them, like, as a series. But I, I haven't done that in ages, just block the rows like that. I don't even know how that happened, quite honestly. I know the energy it's a bit twitchy on the rear anyway, like the uh, the Brosio RA, the 5500. But uh, I, 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 literally, I'm just stunned for words of that. I don't even know how that happened, quite honestly. Hopefully it never happens again. I mean, it's been, what, 
best part of nearly 100 videos since it happened the first time. I'm pretty sure with all the races I've done in between like this, it's probably never going to happen again before the time of GTA 6 coming out. But we are now in an absolute no man's land here of our own. In 8th place, let's try and get something out of this race at least that's higher than 8th. I'm pretty sure 8th place isn't last. Well, we're now in 7th, so we're definitely not in last place even if we were before. Also, I want to beat the other orange elegy. If that's the only thing that I can accomplish from this race, then uh, then so be it. And not finishing in last place as well is also something that I don't want to do. I can't remember, when was the last time I finished in last place? I can't actually remember. DNF Stone Cannon has been last place on the road. Either way, it's been quite a while, so let's try and keep that record going of not being the car in last place. Actually, there's quite the fight here with cars up in front, so so a chance yeah, that I could probably gain a few places. Actually, that's much better taking that corner that time. I mean, it's been out there around the, uh, the final corner. That's near the now going. First car, because you try to find any time that we can. You can now we come onto the part of the track now that the energy is going to hate because it's a straight. It's well, it's it's a straight. It's full throttle, and the energy doesn't have a lot in the way of the straight line speed department. Then we are catching up there. So what's that other car? I can't quite tell what the other car is. I think it might be a comet or it might be a Spectre actually. I've not seen Spectre for a while, I'm pretty sure it, it, it looks like one from here anyway. It's probably a comet though, let's be honest, now actually coming there, bringing a little bit of attention again. The car wanted to go around, actually no, that is a Spectre in front of me. You never see a Spectre in races anymore. And then again, did you ever see them in the first place? Because they never were the best car or anything. I'm going for this line, which the two cars in front of me don't, so that, that's going to cost them a little bit of time. And then with the GT and seen back to uh, my last of the snow races, where I won by, what was that, two thousandths of a second? We've got ahead of the orange energy though, so that's something that leads to hit the wall. And we split ourselves once again, and going into the tree! I mean, going to get ourselves correctly from that. Where's, where's the energy? Did I lose a place there? I don't think I did. But yeah, I don't allow it to the energy. I think they bend it into the wall. But then I bend it into the wall myself, doing the exact same thing as the spectre in front of us, so. Some very strange things are happening in this race. That's, that's, that's a horrible sign now. This is, this is the point where where you just. where you, Honestly, it's been a win at this point now. I'm 28 seconds behind the leader. Who has Brexit in their name? They're gonna be gone quite literally pretty soon. But now then, can we just try and maybe even catch up to that Spectre? I don't even know how good it is. I, I know it's not good, but I don't know how bad it is. Okay, I'll wind it like that. That's the wall again. I'm. This race has been horrific for me. I mean, the, my pace, honestly. Remember, I led the race at one point. I have good pace on this track. I just have absolutely zero consistency to go with. Actually, that might be the name of the video. Grey pace but zero consistency. I mean, doesn't that just sum up my races in general anyway? Actually, no. Come on. I usually don't have great pace in races either. This is actually a track where, honestly, I thought I could have done something good. I might even know, might even know to challenge for the victory because I'm still, once again, despite the horrific race I've had, I'm still not that far behind. And we've got one more corner to go. Running out very wide. But crucially, though, we keep it facing in the right direction. Now we're catching up, though. To this this spectre, which is probably the only time I'm actually going to say it's a spectre in the race. Going below to the finish line, we just not going enough, and that's going to be an honestly even more disappointing result than what the last one was. Because I had some great, I could have won this race quite honestly, I think. And um, my fastest, well, the fastest lap of the race was one of these high GTOs with a two minutes one. My fastest lap was a two minutes twelve, a whole eleven seconds and a half slower than the fastest lap because I didn't actually have one clean lap whatsoever. We've got Flashy here in last place. He's going to make it up to the finish line. He's pretty close. I think he's going to make it there. Come on, so close. Ah, oh, yeah. so close there. Actually, another second he'd have made there. Or did he cross the finish line? I'm not actually quite sure how far back the checkpoint was. But either way, if you enjoyed my disappointing results, definitely leave a like on this video. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you're new and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Remember to uh, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, they'll be linked down in the description below. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all next time.